please, it's me, Kikles, and welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Black Widow Challenge. So we're going to kick it off today by just getting ready for our big day. Now, the first thing I do want to say is, sorry there has been no Black Widow for the last week and a half. Um, there will be two parts filmed back to back today, and they will be posted, like, pretty much close on par with one another. So there'll be two parts of The Black Widow Challenge coming up really, really soon. So you'll see this part, and then the next part should be up. So anyway, so good morning everybody. It is Friday. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. Now Stephanie took that pregnancy test last night and it turned out that she was not pregnant. She was a little bit disappointed but you know she's honestly over it at this point. Bajorn is currently out at his uh, friend's bachelor pad. Um, he's at his best friend's uh, Craig and Joanne's house, which is super nice. They are good friends, best friends, and literally they've been best friends forever. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're like so best friends. Well, they will become best friends. So Whitney is over here this morning with Steph, just trying to desperately help her get ready for the big day. She actually wants to flirt with someone, so I don't actually know. I don't think we're at that point where we can kind of flirt with her. I mean, it, it just wouldn't be realistic, you know, because it's our big day. It's just not, it's not something we're wanting to get into at this point. Now, someone said, I think it was like, Oh, I can't even remember who said, but I know who you are. Someone suggested that we, you know, could, you know, pursue something with uh, Whitney here. Uh, and, you know, maybe get her on our side. And I think that is a really good thing so that, you know, maybe eventually we can go on with the exchange numbers, confess attraction and all that sort of stuff. And get her on our side because, you know, if we do end up going to prison, she will totally bail, bail us out. But in order to do that, we need to become really, really good friends with her. And, you know, get get into her into her close circle of trust. You know what I mean? Yeah. So cool. All right. So the wedding is going to take place at about two o'clock. Now, I think I said it would be a morning wedding last part, but um, that's totally fine. We're just going to roll with it. We're going to do a one o'clock wedding. Um, I think one o'clock. I don't know. Depends what time. Sean will arrive back home. He's doing his own thing over at the bachelor pad, getting ready for the big day. So last night, Whitney came over and it was super, super nice. Whitney came over with a... Uh, wedding, well not a wedding planner as such, but like a wedding organizer. It's one of Whitney's really good friends and I would really like to introduce myself to her. Oh, is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Oh girl, you be pregnant. Um, anyways, <laughs> so Whitney came over last night with one of her good friends, Lisa, and she pretty much organized the whole backyard for our wedding. We have not seen the backyard yet, so we're kind of just uh, staying away from the back door there because we can clearly look out and see the wedding, but let's just pipe up to the fact that Stephanie, it's a big surprise, okay? It's a big surprise. All right, so it is like nearly like wedding time and Stephanie is in the mirror just practicing her speech, you know, her wedding vows and she really is starting to just freak out a little bit, you know, she's nervous and she knows that she has to execute this plan that she's been thinking about for a quite a while and she's honestly, if you ask me, she's over Brajorn, she's over his crap, she wants to get rid of him, we know that. And her plan has to freaking work out. Otherwise, she will be in huge trouble and she'll easily get she'll easily get found out if this plan doesn't work, guys. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing if this plan will work with Brajorn. I'm out of water. Crap. I totally didn't become prepared for this part. All right, so she's feeling really confident now. So what we're going to do is we're going to just send a quick text to Brajorn, ask him, you know, if he's ready to come home. Now, obviously, the reason being that he's at his friend's house is because, you know, Stephanie has gone for the whole traditional approach with Brajorn and, and that, you know, she wants him not to see her before the big day. And, you know, he's getting ready at his friend's house with his best man, all that sort of jazz. You know what I mean? So he cannot see her in her wedding dress until she comes up the aisle. So that is really, really important. And that is really something that Stephanie has near and dear to her heart. So 
I think it was like the second part of the, um, and Bajorn is home. Oh my goodness. So he texted her back to say, I am literally two seconds a freaking way. And she's coming out to chat to him. Well, I don't think so. So she's going to go outfits, change outfit in it to her nice wedding gown here. And, uh, essentially what I'm going to do, I know this is a bit mean, but I'm actually going to, um, lock the door for everybody. So essentially we're, we're saying that she won't leave the room because I don't want Want Brajorn to see her, you know what I mean? And I feel like they'll just, yeah, 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 cool. All right, so we're going to get Brajorn into his outfit. He came clearly prepared. Um, and he's going to pick out this nice black outfit, which, you know, totally wedding appropriate, right? It's all black. I mean, you'd think he would go on for a, for, for a gold tie or something to match her dress, but that's all right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to organize this freaking wedding and get the show on the road, plan a social event. I always go past that, like always go past the planner social event hi i see you looking at me what are you looking at mr 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 what's your name johnny johnny zest a zesty apple a zesty orange <laughs> okay all righty so we're organizing the wedding um and we're going to do uh, i think we're going to do a prestige event here um and now obviously we have the bride and groom what a beautiful couple <coughs> Yeah, one of many. Um, guest, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to invite Craig, Juan, and Marcus. Oh, Clara, totally. But I am going to go ahead and invite Sophia and Elsa, which is you know Brajon's daughters. Um, now they have never really met. Um, never. Well, they've never met Stephanie at all. So this is the first time they're meeting, which is really funny a musician well we don't have a freaking piano so i'm not gonna worry about that so we ordered a caterer and a mixologist here and we're also going to um probably order a dj a little bit later on in the night which i think will be quite nice so we're going to do it at our house and here we freaking go wedding number one okay so stephanie has for whatever reason changed into this outfit which i don't like when they do that so i'm gonna get her changed back into her wedding attire and instantly this week <laughs> look at her face it's just so evil i love her this girl has so much sass don't ever underestimate her ever like ever you can't you just can't underestimate stephanie so um the other thing too i want to mention as well is that, you know, she's feeling a little bit upset um, in the back of her mind because, you know, her mum's not here and, you know, her mum did pass away um, a little while ago now. But, you know, she's never really truly known her father and that really just makes her a little bit upset. You know, she really wishes that some of her family could be here to be at her wedding and get to know Brajorn and get to know her for her, you know what I mean? So she is really a little bit upset about the fact that her parents are not here. Um, as I said, she's never really known her biological father at all. She knows his name, but she doesn't know what he looks like, you know, where he lives, all of that sort of stuff. Could that possibly come back and haunt her in the future? Maybe. Could they become, you know, maybe close in the future if she wanted to pursue something with her father? I don't even freaking know at this point. So what we're going to do is, why has Brajon changed into this outfit? You know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to leave him in that outfit. I really just could not care. So it looks like uh, here is Brajorn's best friend. So we're going to come over here and thank him for coming. Now, Stephanie is still in the um, bathroom and he's like trying to get in to talk to her. She's like, I can't come out, okay? You can't see me before the wedding. So just shut your trap and let's get on with it. You know what I mean? I should get going now. Uh, 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 honey. Mm, 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 mm. So uh, we're going to, she really wants to come out and see Brajorn. Um, we're going to go ahead and, no, I want you to stay here with me <laughs> all right so she is going to stay hopefully so now i'm going to have um the door unlocked and i'm essentially going to have brajorn um just come out here and uh just jog out here he's gonna just jog outside um and he's just gonna go ahead and fantasize about some weddings you know and Marcus Flex is here too, which is super, super nice. And uh, Stephanie is coming over here to talk to, um, and hello, meeting the daughter. Ooh, girl, meeting the stepmom and stepdaughter. Oh my goodness, look at the way she's looking at Sophia. She's like, hey girl, meeting the stepdaughter. All right, so we're coming out here hello. to 
take a wedding selfie. Hi. Oh, this is so nice. I'm actually going to go ahead um, and ask to see her formal outfit or her formal attire. Um, I do want to get the wedding on the road like now because we're kind of late. So we're going to... Can you stop watching the TV? You're supposed to be my caterer. Oh, mixologist. Whatever. I don't even forget. Hey, oh, girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we could get married to you instead of Brajorn. It sounds good. Okay. So we're going to come over here and uh, Brajorn is eagerly waiting. He's feeling really flirty. He's introducing himself to his best man again. He's like, I am so nervous, dude. I love this chick. Oh, I want to marry her. So we're just going to get married to her here. Um, and he wants to actually woo her with her and donate to a charity and do something romantic. So, you know, he's feeling all sorts of ready. Um, Stephanie is just waltzing outside and oh my goodness, look at this venue it is absolutely gorgeous i love it so here is the can you please move thanks <laughs> thanks <laughs> oh look at them and they're getting married so i'm just gonna shush and let you guys watch Can I just add that the expression on Stephanie's face right now? Can we just, just please, just like the expression on Stephanie's face is almost like enough to speak a thousand freaking words. She is so nervous. But, you know, she knows, like, that's her fake facade that she's putting on right now. She absolutely loves him and she'd do anything for him. I love you, Bajorn. You are my whole life now. And I cannot wait to have kids with you and build a successful future with you. I love you so much, baby. And I always freaking will. I always have. From the moment I saw you, you just captivated my heart. And you captivated because you got all this money. But um, you captivated my heart. And I freaking will always love you. And he's saying, he said his vows. And he's like, I vow to love you unconditionally forever. And I will never, ever let anything come in between us. You and me, dead to the end, baby. Ride or die sort of thing. Okay, all right, cool. So that have we have we done the ceremony? Is that it? Are we married now? Are we are we actually married? Can we check now? Because that was a really short but like <laughs> weird ceremony. You know, there was no like kissing or hugging afterwards, and Stephanie is instantly going to be like a champion. Like you know what I mean? It's such a fake wedding. You know, it was so weird and strange. Um, so I'm gonna come over here to my little daughter. And I'm actually going to thank her for coming. And I'm going to love on her a little bit. Ask her about school and, uh, you know, ask her how she has been. I don't know where um, Sophia is. Okay, she is inside. And it uh, looks like uh, there's a few confrontations going on in here. Marcus Flex is looking. <laughs> Damn, is that it? Mm, yum. <laughs> would, would it be wrong to, 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 to come here with you? Like, to marry you sometime? Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to come over here and we are going to cut our wedding cake. Um, Bajorn uh, desperately wants to woo her with uh, Stephanie here. Like, he really wants to woo her with Stephanie. Meanwhile, Stephanie is going to go ahead and chat with Craig. Ooh, girl, you're going to cut your wedding cake. Stop watching a freaking movie. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut the wedding cake, please, please. It's time to cut the oh, blowing your trumpet, lady, <laughs> right in my friggin' ear. Um, so we're gonna cut the wedding cake. Ooh, and we need to have some drinks a bit later on, which I think would be quite nice. Oh my god! <laughs> look, guys, guys, look! Oh my gosh, he is like checking her out. Like, whoa, Bajon, you scored, buddy, big time. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's so like that oh man he is right he's like damn you score big time buddy <laughs> oh my gosh why am i being so like this okay all right so what we're gonna do now is we should actually introduce ourselves to you know our stepdaughter here so we're gonna do a friendly introduction to her um and uh see what she's all about 
Now she will be like literally like over here all the time. Um, you know, because she wants to spend more time with her father and stuff. She is only a teen, so, you know, she's going through that age where she wants to just literally, you know, she's not getting on with her mum at all, like, at the moment. And, um, Clara's actually having a big, big issue at the moment with her and, you know, doing well at school and just all this sort of stuff. And it's like, oh, I don't even care at this point, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to go ahead and hire a DJ headliner here. And uh, we are going to go out here together. And we're going to have a dance. A service sim hired by Stephanie Valdiva is on her way. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to come out here and have a little boogie on down. 168. Oh, okay, cool. Because Brajon earned that on his day off. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to outfits, change outfit into a little something, something here. Now, we don't actually have anything um, sexy to wear for the night I mean um so I'm actually gonna go um I'm actually going to edit her and cast if I can from here uh modify house and cast cool perfect so I'd love to just get her into something a little bit more you know um party themed here something a little bit more shorter than normal um so I'm gonna go party outfits and I'm also going to add a new one on because she doesn't really have many party outfits and I did recently just download some what <laughs> I'm scared for life. I'm scared for freaking life, girl. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. <laughs> Shivers me timbers. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So we're going to go for a um, nice little... <laughs> nice, nice, scary freaking red face. And, ugh, that was scary. Okay. Um... I'm scarred for life. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to get something a little bit more, I don't know, just party themed going on here. And as I was saying, I did just download some CC and clearly that is not working. So I do need to go ahead and remove that one out of my game. Oh my goodness. She is like, I'm not going to lie. She is so drop dead gorgeous. And I think any guy that, um, you know, I don't know. I feel like Stephanie, when she seduces men, they they honestly feel flattered that such a beautiful woman like Stephanie would play interest in them, if you know what I mean. So we're just going to get changed into this a sexy outfit. Ooh la la. Um, <laughs> please excuse that glitch we had just before, guys. That was not cool by any means. Um, but yeah, I feel like they would be honestly like honored to meet such a beautiful girl like Stephanie. And I feel like Stephanie could lure them in using her looks and using her um, physical appearance. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to now change outfits into this cute little outfit we just got into. Um, and hi, here is our TJ headliner. And honestly, hi, how you doing, hottie? Mm, love that suit you're wearing. Um, so we're going to, oh my goodness, she's feeling honestly flirty. Can we try to do a flirty introduction to this guy? Like, honestly, why freaking not at this point? So we're just going to do a quick flirty hello. You know, we're feeling a little bit flirtatious. If we're gonna do that. Oh my goodness, she's making advances over the freaking. <laughs> I love this girl. She has got such a freaking backbone. Meanwhile, Bajorn is in here just talking to his daughter like freaking whatever at this point. She's honestly, she just does not care. You know, she's actually blowing him a kiss and uh, giving him a pick. See what I mean? She's honestly just got this. Um, she's just honestly got this. Uh, oh my god. Stephanie, you better freaking! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she is <laughs> she's blowing advances over the freaking DJ booth and uh, Brajon. Oh my goodness, he was so close to coming out and seeing her. He would have caught her right in the freaking action here. So that's lucky for whatever reason. His best mate Craig, obviously, uh. I don't know, just sidetracked at him. So that was good. Oh my goodness, what are these two doing now? What are they doing? <gasps> She's kissing his hands and everything. Oh my goodness, Stephanie, Stephanie. Um, can we like request some music now? Okay, seriously, I'm done with you now. Control panel. Um, okay, well I'm just gonna come over here and 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 just I don't know, just dance. Can I do group dance? Group dance, sure. Group dance, anyone? Come on. 
Oh, we're going to do a group dance with our girl. That's perfect. Are you going to play some freaking music now? Hi, how's it going? We're dancing with no music. I'm serious. This is kind of dead now. Play some music, please. Yes, queen, slay him. Slay him, girl, slay him. Oh my goodness. I love her so much. She has got so much sass. And her step, like, she just can't even right now. She's just so cute. Honestly, she is feeling so flirty. Like, very flirty. Very, very flirty and freaking deed. You know, I love her. I freaking do. All right. So, hey, who are you? Oh, my goodness. Who are you? Juwan. Oh, my goodness. You. There's so many hot guys here. Marcus Flex. Hey. <gasps> Thank him for coming. Um, we need to order some freaking drinks. Where's our bar? Do we not have one? Ah, <laughs> silly me. I didn't get a bar. I just did not get a bar. So I'm going to quickly, like, just, like, order one of these really quickly. I don't even care at this point. I don't even care. The theme of the wedding was supposed to be blue and pink. But you know what? Let's be a rebel and get a black and white one with fairy lights. So let's go ahead and... Um, make a favorite drink here i i just need to order a drink but i'm gonna have a couple of drinks here um the wedding is still continuing on the food's inside things are happening and uh looks like brajon's getting a little bit turned up there with his best buddies and stuff which is super nice and uh looks like elsa's over here like yeah can you dance with me oh, oh, oh. a little bit too close for comfort down there <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm so weird, okay? I'm so weird. You know, honestly, guys, this is me. This is freaking my personality coming out, you know. Um, And, and you know, I for, for freaking ever, I've always been so worried about what... Where did your drink go? Oh, girl, you just dropped it on the floor. You're too drunk already. Um, You know, for the first... I'm going to say, for the first bit on my channel, I was so, like, quiet and, like... Hey guys, it's me, Kaikos. Welcome back. You know, I was just so quiet and careful in what I said. But now I just don't even give a shit. You know, I'm just me being me, having fun. You know, I swear I cuss. I am just a normal person. Well, there's no such thing as normal in my eyes. But you know what I mean? Um, I'm just being me being me, you know. And uh, I think that's really, really important, um, you know. Because I feel like for a while I've been so conservative and what I've said, so PC, you know. And I know I do have younger viewers and everything like that, so I'm not going to be, like, full on out, you know. But I don't know. I just want to be me more and more, you know. And I am finding myself, um, the more I'm kind of uploading less, the more I'm actually able to be myself and really, really just come out of my shell on my simming channel. So uh, we're just having a few drinks here, and Bajorn is honestly feeling a certain type of way. Like, he honestly is really, really feeling it. Um, now, this DJ over here, we do have a romantic interest with. So if he sees us flirting, he might get a little bit jealous, but I don't even care at this point. You know, this is my husband at the end of the day. So whatever. <laughs> so we're just going to drink up our drink here. Um, I should have hired... Did we hire a mixologist? I'm pretty sure we did. Have they left? I think they have. Whatever. I don't even care. So, um, I really want to get a goal wedding. That's kind of what I am going for here. So, I I should really just hire a staff. Let's just hire Kerwin. Whoever this Kerwin guy is. I don't even care. But I want to get a few drinks popping. Um, so, we're going to hire a, um, hire a mixologist here. Um, can we please drink up this drink, girl? Like, seriously, drink up your drink and get turned up. Like, turns up. Bajorn is over here just talking to Marcus Flex. And, um, yeah, things are really going good, guys. This is a super, super nice wedding. Um, are you, uh, are you our freaking, you are our freaking mixologist. What are you doing? What are you freaking doing, lady? Seriously. Uh, you're not here to freaking party. You're actually here to yeah seriously over that right now like honestly i'm not gonna lie stephanie is a little bit over it you know she she does want to you know have a few drinks and stuff but i feel like you know she just kind of wants to just chill you know what i mean she wants to chill drink and chill and drink and drink and drink and drink you know what i mean um so where is our mixologist hello are we getting one here 
Um, it doesn't look like we are. So I'm actually just going to make a drink. Like honestly, at this point, I don't even care where my mixologist is. I just want a drink. What? Very embarrassed. <gasps> Call with an what? Oh my god! No, 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 no. What? 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 Okay. So Bajon isn't sad or anything. So I'm guessing that it was on the other end that. Um, Mahiri caught them. That's right. So I was wondering, because it must have been... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was when they were sitting here and she was filming with Brajon. Brajon doesn't know that these two have a thing, but he does. Whoa! This has just gotten too much. Okay, 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 okay. I am just going to have to have a quick word with this guy. He is so pissed. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually going to have to sweeten him up. Like, honestly, I freaking am going to have to sweeten him up. Like, honestly, I'm I'm just gonna have to apologize if I can and uh, essentially what I'm doing now is I'm just apologizing like, I'm really sorry it's just you know that I got married today but I do want to you know still see you if you're down and he's like what what is he gonna say is he down is he is he down it doesn't look like he's down you guys I think we have made our foot oh okay it looks like uh, we can recover this oh no we can't <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part of the Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. So, pretty much, we had a little bit of a flirty, flirty, flirty mess around time. Well, not we didn't mess around, but, you know, we had a flirty time with Mahita, the DJ. He knows that we are married now, and he knows that we made advances at him. So, I think we do need to take care of the DJ before, because if he tells Bajon, then, yeah, everything's going to happen too quick. So, we need to get this guy sorted we need to get this dj like done and dusted and done and freaking done so anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part of the sims 4 black widow challenge here uh, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i will see all of you beautiful lovelies in the next video really soon bye guys